I want to take you to the ground, though. Several areas throughout our region have seen the rain accumulate. And as a result, in some areas, a lot of flooding over the past 24 hours. That video out of Sarasota, where a record amount of rainfall, well, it fell yesterday. And those downpours that we're talking about, making it harder for neighbors to get around and businesses to do what they do. Absolutely. In St. Armand Circle, several shops and restaurants had to shut down. 10 Tampa Bay's Adure Achumba is live in Sarasota with more Adure. Those, some of those business owners actually telling me they got up to three feet of water. But as you can see all around me, much of that flood water has receded. And those roads that were closed have also reopened. And today the sun was out to help dry things up. But again, those business owners pretty much deja vu for them all over again because they had to deal with a similar situation just under a year ago. Back got flooded, the front got flooded. I wasn't able to get out my car because if I did, I would get stuck. Several business owners in downtown Sarasota and St. Armand Circle cleaning up after the flood. Between 5 to 10 inches of rain dumped on Sarasota in a three-hour span. As cars were driving by, there's nowhere for, you know, the excess water to go into. So it just starts coming up here and going up into the stores. Um, and we had sandbags, but they didn't do a lot. I had to install these thresholds, but there's a little bit of a gap underneath. So just that tiny bit, about that half inch, was enough for water and debris to get into the gallery. So uh, moving forward, we're going to have to come up with a plan to kind of get a, a little bit of a better seal. Sarasota first responders had to rescue 34 people stranded in their vehicles and towed away 40 disabled vehicles between Tuesday night and this morning. We want yesterday to be a lesson, and if you don't see the ground, if the water looks like it's pretty deep, don't try it. Um, please also don't go around our barricades or officers that are blocking streets. A sidewalk near Philippi Creek collapsing from the sheer force of the runoff water. It does show us where the weak spots are. It was a unique event, and for it to occur as early in storm season as it did, um, it, it, it does help us know where we need to tweak some things in the future. Officials now asking everyone to prepare and brace up for yet more rain in the forecast. Luckily, we do have an upstairs, so we have an elevator. I just loaded up most of the stuff from the bottom floor and took it upstairs, but um, it looks like I kind of saved myself some work because we might have to deal with some more flooding here <laughs> shortly. But. Now, as you recall, after that last hurricane, Sarasota County officials invested nearly $1 million to rehabilitate the pumping system here on St. Armand Circle. Now, they tell me that that system actually worked and did what it was supposed to do. However, a combination of high tide as well as all of that rain that came down, well, it all overwhelmed the system. Live in Sarasota, Aduria Chumba, 10 Temp.